Hello everybody, if you don't know me, my name is Sarah Danielle and if you do know me, then welcome back to my channel. For today, I am going to be talking about things that you can do to stay off your phone this fall. Not even just this fall, but just in general. Or things that you can do to be much more productive on your phone because there's literally so many better things that you could be doing with your time that you're just not doing. And I made a TikTok a few months ago, I think, about things to do to stay off your phone. And that TikTok actually got a lot of views and a lot of likes and a lot of people telling me that it helped them, that they got off their phone right after this, etc. And I wanted to make a full YouTube video about it. Over 100 ideas, I think it's like 105, 106 ideas of things that you can do to stay off your phone and be much less of a screenager. So I genuinely think that like it's just really important, especially in the winter time when seasonal depression can come about and like creep its ugly head in, to make sure that you're staying off your phone and doing things that give you dopamine, endorphins, whatever the scientific term is. The first thing we have is read. And you're like, girl, obviously. But no, it's not as obvious as you might think. A lot of people hate reading and they don't actually hate the act of reading. They just probably don't like the books that they've read so far. I suggest either going to a library if you can't actually afford to buy books. Me personally, I buy books because I don't want to be worried about having to pay for a book that I ruin. Number two, go thrifting. But, but, so many people are going to be like, girl, I do that on the daily. No. Don't do it on the daily, make it a little bit more of a special occasion, but also make sure that you have a clear and concise image in your mind of the things that you were wanting to get. Go on Pinterest, figure out exactly what you wanna get. Because I went through a massive phase in thrifting where I was like, okay, well I'm at a thrift store, this is the only time I'm ever gonna see this. If it didn't fit me perfectly, if it wasn't the exact right color, like all these things, I would still buy it. You need to make sure you are only buying clothing that you 110% love and know for a 110% fact that you would wear. Number three, go on a walk, rain or shine. This is important. I started 75 hard. I didn't actually continue doing it, but I was going on a 45 minute walk every single day. And I really, really liked it. it honestly, I think a good goal is to get 10K steps a day. It's really important to stay active in the winter time. Next up, get a box to lock your phone in. Get a box, get a thing with a key or whatever, like a lock with a key so that you can not actually access your phone. Give the key to somebody else in your family while you maybe want to be off your phone all day. Get air dry clay. Air dry clay is actually so fun. Me and my boyfriend play around with it quite often and you can make anything you want. I mean, you can't really make like cups or plates or anything because you're not able to wash it because the second you add water to air dry clay, it becomes like a clay material again, I'm pretty sure. But you can make little things like jewelry holders, ring holders. There's a bunch of stuff that you can make. Oh, you can also make magnets. Start collecting magazines or subscribe to like a magazine. I think that that's really cool and I would love to start reading fashion magazines. I think it's really interesting. I know that in the winter and fall, it is so, so difficult to stay active but if you don't have a gym membership and you can afford one, get one. Next up, develop your own personal style. And I know that that's kind of broad and you're like, girl, what the fuck do you mean? A really good way to start with this and stop just like following the trend cycle is to go on Pinterest. If you make a Pinterest board and then make little subgenres that I think that you can do in the board, I've never actually done that before, but I'm pretty sure you can. You can do one for shirts, one for skirts, pants, shorts, accessories, boots, shoes, etc. And then you can kind of just look at ones that the individual objects you really, really like. And this will be so helpful for you because just following the trend cycle is a waste of money. It makes you look just like everybody else at the time, you'll regret it down the road because you're looking back and it's not something that you actually like. This next one I actually really, really love and it was so fun. I did something like this recently. I didn't follow through as well as I could have, but it is just a really good idea to practice acts of kindness. It's a really good way to pass the time. It's a good way to feel good and it's a good way to know you're making other people feel good. Even make a little video about it if you want. Coming on from the deep stuff, maybe try thrifting golf clubs and go to a driving range or a golf course, whatever you want. More outdoor stuff go on a hike. Go on a hike, preferably when it's not raining, but if you like the rain, why not? I spent all summer going on hikes and it was one of my favorite things I've ever done in my entire life. Something else that's kind of difficult, I've always wanted to do a polar bear swim. I think that's what it's called, where you swim in like ice cold water. I don't know. To keep memories like this, y'all should scrapbook. I'm just saying. I've never actually scrapbooked before. I really want to. Now, this is gonna sound silly if you are in school, but if you're not in school like me, you might wanna take an online course. Write handwritten notes for people. It is so beautiful to do that. Like, I think that if you learn to do calligraphy or learn to do handwriting, whatever, which I know how to do, and it's honestly such like a random skill, but it makes things a lot better. Go get a bunch of envelopes and matching papers from Michael's, which is where I really like to get my stuff, and just write people a bunch of beautiful notes. You can do that for a holiday. You can do that just because. It's just such a nice way to spread love. And if you still want to write, but you don't necessarily want to do that, try journaling in a novel format. I just thought of this today, and I think that that could be such a cool thing. Write stuff down because you're not going to
going to remember things forever and it's going to be beautiful to be able to read your own perspective from that day and if you have like an amazing date and you just wish that you could remember every single detail write it down as if you're reading it in a book like that could be so cool okay this one might be difficult to do in the winter months but start running random but you could start babysitting i think that babysitting is really cool maybe take a little course so that you know how to do like cpr and whatever the heimlich it's just a fun thing to try and a little extra way to make money that's probably a bit easier to handle if you're in school this one i'm doing tomorrow but rearrange your bedroom there's this app called magic plan i think that you're only able to do one bedroom or one room for free but if you look up like room planner and stuff like that on apps on the app store you can find a bunch of different apps basically for magic plan you put in the measurements like the dimensions of each of the objects in your room and then you can move them around on there to see how things will fit i just feel like i need like a refresh on my environment and it's really cool actually to have that app to do it instead of just like struggling and moving stuff around if you're having a sleepover with your friend you might want to try doing drag <laughs> and you're like girl what the hell glue your eyebrows do hella makeup waste all of your old expired stuff why not just do it it's so fun and it's really funny find an album you might not know the artist you might know the artist whatever make sure that you guys haven't heard most of the songs on the album before but take notes about each song what you like what you don't like maybe jot down specific lines that you enjoyed more have a glass of wine if you're into doing a little drink skis sit by the fire and then once the album is completely over compare your notes on the songs that's just a cute random date idea that is better than just like watching a movie or doing the same old thing that you always do practice driving i'm 20 y'all <laughs> uh, and i gotta do this practice driving get on your driving grind so that by the time you're ready to get your new driver's license your n if you're in canada then you actually are able to it is super important do it on every single not rainy and not snowy day that you can back to the cute stuff cook or bake cooking and baking is so much easier than you think if you have a recipe y'all it is not that hard to bake and it is not that hard to cook if you just actually look stuff up and pay attention to the instructions and focus and give yourself a lot of time to do it when you're starting out it's not going to be that hard and it's a very very rewarding hobby this one i actually did last september i want to say make a secret tiktok account and don't tell anyone about it i made a secret tiktok account when in like september 2023 i want to say and i started posting just whatever i wanted i didn't tell a single person i knew and i was like yeah i'm not gonna tell anyone i know until i hit like 10,000 followers which is crazy because i had never done that before and now i have 130,000 followers on that tiktok account it's kind of dead i stopped posting for a while which kind of screwed up the algorithm but i did do that and i was like what the hell and i facetimed my boyfriend when i hit 10,000 followers because i had a video get like over a million likes and he was like what you bought followers and I was like, nah, -uh -uh. I just kept it a secret. You don't even ever have to tell anyone about it till people start finding it. It's just a fun thing to do. Another thing to do if you're not in school, if you don't want to pay for an online course is to get an educational book and actually learn from it. Take some notes, do little question workbook situations that it has in there. Exercise your mind. It's really important to keep doing that, especially if you're not planning on going to post-secondary like me. Another thing to do if you've graduated or if you haven't graduated, whatever you want to do, go out of your way to make friends and make a point of like speaking to new people. Making new friends is really hard. A bunch of my close friends one of them i met at work one of them i met through somebody else one of them i met on tiktok like there's so many different ways that you can make friends you can literally go up to somebody compliment them start having a conversation be like wait this was kind of fun can i have your instagram maybe we can like hang out a lot of the times if your friendships are toxic and you have no one else to rely on you end up just staying in toxic friendships and we don't want that so go out and make some new friends go on a rainbow walk because that way you still have a goal but you don't necessarily have something you're going to you could do this one of two ways you can do a rainbow walk if you want a short one where it'd be like okay i'm gonna find something red then i'm gonna find something orange then i'm gonna find something yellow and so on and so forth but you have to do it in order and you just go walk until you find all the colors or you can do say a red walk an orange walk a yellow walk and for that walk you have to find something that say red go in that direction find something else that's red go in that direction like you have to keep going in the direction of the color that you chose so that you end up somewhere you maybe haven't been before I'm really into doing things that I did when I was a kid. So you could always do chalk on days where it's not raining because chalk is fun. It's temporary. It's random. If you want to do it with your friends, do it with your friends. Just get a thing of chalk and just color in your driveway. It could be really fun to just look up random playlists on Spotify and find random artists that you maybe wouldn't have listened to otherwise. Or if you like one song, then maybe listen to that entire artist's biography. That's not the right word. Just listen to all their albums. You know what I mean? Just expand your music taste. Even if you don't love reading, a good way to get into it could be to spend the day in a bookstore i find that if i'm in a certain environment it definitely entices me to spend more time there 
there and to actually learn more about it. So if I were to go to the bookstore for like a day, like actually make a day out of it, then I would probably find a lot more books and it puts you into that little Rory Gilmore mindset. Learn to crochet or knit. I taught myself how to crochet last winter and it was a lot easier than I thought y'all. It's not actually that difficult. A little bit more dabbling into our past selves. Finger paint. Try to set yourself free. Paint something abstract. Paint what you feel. Just finger paint. Like just get your hands dirty and paint on a canvas. It could be a really cute thing to make a fort and watch a movie. I miss making forts. It was so much fun. Putting like an hour in time and just trying to fit like sheets over top. Maybe putting fairy lights. Gathering every pillow in your entire house to make it comfy. Why not? Literally why not? This one is such a good idea. Make a wish list. Have a note in your phone or a piece of paper. Whatever. Where you make a list of all the things that you want but aren't necessarily going to buy yourself right away because then when people ask you what you want for your birthday what do you want for Christmas you actually have answers because I never have answers my mom's always like okay kids like work on your Christmas list and I'm just like girl I don't know what I'm supposed to put on there I don't know what I want to make life easier for everybody especially because Christmas is coming up y'all another type of list you could do is make a classic bucket list y'all remember when everyone would make bucket lists for summer and they would go all out with like crayons pencil crayons doing little doodles for everything do one of that for the fall and winter always wanted to take the bus to a random place and get off at a random stop please do this with somebody else so that you're safe and you have a little buddy system thing going on but get off at a random stop and just explore that area that you've not necessarily been before whatever at the end of the day you can bus home you don't end up that far to keep exercising your brain, especially when you're not gonna be doing as much physical activity, I think that a lot of people should get a Sudoku book. The next few are similar things. The next one is to start a puzzle, which could be really, really fun. Get like a giant complicated puzzle with an image that you actually like. You can also just do a Lego set, which is kind of expensive. I didn't realize how expensive Lego got, but it could be really fun if you're super into Lego, or it could be a fun thing to do with your partner. You can also start a paint by number. I will not be doing this, I don't like paint by numbers, but if you like paint by numbers, why not? There's also ones that you can do that are custom. So you can send in a photo and you can get it as a paint by number. Why not do that? If you guys like that, why not? I don't actually know what they're called, but if you look up on Amazon, like miniature house figurine, actually, let me show you quickly. I sent it to my boyfriend because I really like it, but look how cute this is. Like you have to make every little thing. You have to make the door. You have to make the whole building. And that seems like such a better use of your time than just like scrolling on your phone. Like you actually are focusing and learning how to make something. And I think it's really, really cute. And because it's so time consuming, it's a lot like slower paced than a Lego set and a lot more focused than that. If you don't really want to go to the gym or leave your house, or you don't feel like driving in the snow, you can always try at home Pilates or HIT. That is actually what got me to my leanest. My favorite Pilates instructor on YouTube is Move With Nicole. And for HIT workouts, I really like Vicky Justice. I've always wanted to do this. I've never been to a museum and as an artiste, that's kind of a faux pas, but go to your local art museum, art show, whatever, something like that. There has to be some near you. And if there isn't, go a little extra farther. Why not? You could also go to a flea market, which is a lot more of than you may think, or kind of just like a little, I guess, yeah, just a flea market or kind of just like an event. There's a lot of vintage reseller events in my area, especially in Vancouver. Similar to thrifting golf clubs, you could thrift like tennis rackets or badminton rackets and go to your local court and just have fun with those. You can just go get a little workout in and that's a good thing to do in the fall when it's not raining because that way you still get energy and it's a little bit cold outside so you don't actually have to worry about like over sweating and being disgusting I love doing this you could have a photo shoot with your friend whether that be like a serious photo shoot where you have like a cool camera or whether you take a bunch of outfits in somebody's car and then go change in coffee shops and do a bunch of different photos in different outfits that so you have like a bunch of Instagram posts lined up I've always wanted to do something like that I think that that would be so fun I've always wanted to do this I'm not a big drinker I really enjoy dancing, but I don't love drinking, like I said. So try going to the club sober with your friends who aren't avid drinkers. Lose the judgment of yourself. Just dance and let loose. If you're not too into that, you can go to the club in crazy thrifted outfits. I really want to do something like this, like thrift, uh, like quad XL t-shirt and like insane khaki shorts or just some weird pants and maybe like a crazy pair of giant sunglasses and just wear them to the club. Like that would be so much more fun than having to worry about the tight clothing I have or the nice clothes that I have getting wrecked with alcohol spilling on me because no one knows any sort of spatial awareness in the club. Learn to do nail art, acrylic nails, gel X, whatever. That's a little side hustle that you can make some pretty good bank off of. Classic little fall thing, go to a pumpkin patch, carve a pumpkin. You can't go wrong with this. It's just a classic. So I dyed my hair for the first time last year before fall. I regret that 
not dyeing my hair, but I regret doing it before fall because it's actually the ugliest I've ever felt in the fall because my light hair crossed with my like super pale skin made me look sickly and not very cute. I re-dyed my hair a little bit blonder this summer and it was honestly the best decision ever. There's a lot of light in my hair, like my natural color is up here. It's this nice dark brown and I kind of want to dye my hair a darker, more gingery brown and that's honestly something I think that you can't go wrong with in the winter. Go dye your hair darker. If you're like a blonde, keep it blonde maybe, but maybe make it a little bit warmer, a little bit darker. I just think it's really cute to go a little bit more brunette in the fall. You can have a little marathon night where you watch all of the Halloween specials of your favorite shows. So like all of the Halloween episodes of maybe like Spongebob or The Office. I don't know shows that have Halloween episodes now that I think about it, but you can Google Halloween episodes of this show, Halloween episodes of this show, get them all lined up and just binge a bunch of Halloween episodes. I think that that could be really cute. Sell your clothes on Depop that you don't want anymore or on Facebook Marketplace if you're just wanting to do it locally or have just a little like trade with your friends, like invite all your friends over. Everyone brings all the clothes they don't want anymore and everyone just swap clothes. Just pick from your friend's clothing, see what you want. I did this recently and it was very rewarding and very, what's the word? Rewarding, actually, that's the word. Try to pick up sewing if you have a sewing machine or anyone you know has a sewing machine and you can make things out of thrifted bed sheets. You can pay for patterns on Etsy, a lot of them are on there, or you can just try and make your own pattern too. I actually got inspired by this next one from Little Women, putting on a little play or skit with your friends. They do that in the book, it's like pretty much the opening. Is it the opening part? Well, basically one of the sisters, there's four sisters in this book, one of the sisters writes plays and she's really into stuff like that and she has her and all of her sisters perform a play for their mom, which is so cool and just random and I think it's really funny. And even if it's like just super exaggerated and like Shakespearean, I think that, that is such an interesting way to pass the time. I'm gonna be doing this after my payday, <laughs> but get a cheap projector and have a movie night outside on the side of your house, in your backyard. Um, I just think that's a really cute thing to do and I definitely wanna do that this year. This one you can do on a little outdoor movie night or any movie night really, but have like a crazy popcorn movie night. I love having popcorn in a bunch of different ways. You can have each person bring their own big bowl of popcorn and make it however they want. So for example, one person could bring like dill pickle popcorn. One person could bring like regular buttered popcorn. One person could bring plain popcorn. One person could bring popcorn that had like chocolate drizzled on top, which is actually really good. Don't knock it till you try it. One person could bring white chocolate drizzled popcorn with candy cane crumbs. Y'all, so good. So just have everyone prepare popcorn in a different way and just have like a big popcorn movie night. Reread your childhood book series. This is especially good if you're trying to get back into reading. For me, that was Dork Diaries. A little more adult of a thing that you could do is to host a party or just have a party with your friends, but specifically hosting. That could be really cool. You could make a bunch of appetizers, have a bunch of like little snacks around, maybe cook, maybe bake a little something for the party. Go on a cafe crawl. Write down all of the names of cafes you're interested in going to and then go to a bunch of different cafes. Maybe go to one for breakfast, maybe one for lunch, and maybe one for a little after dinner snack. Do whatever you want. Maybe do one a day. Maybe do, maybe bring a different friend to each of them. Another thing that you could do is do that little date idea on TikTok where they do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to pick each sort of part of the meal. So you could do rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins gets to pick the drink. Then whoever wins gets to pick appies, then the mains, then the dessert. Become a matcha girl. I'm a matcha girl, y'all. I love Love matcha so much but getting matchas at different coffee shops every single day is super expensive so get a professional grade matcha online and get a matcha kit that is such like a cool thing to have make a vision board you're like girl there's a vision board behind you yes there is you can make a physical vision board you can make a vision board for your wallpaper of your phone or your laptop it's really easy to do that on canva by the way but make a little vision board it's such a cool thing to do it's really good to do especially for fall and winter so that you get to kind of romanticize it a little bit have seasonal depression. Um, make a list of affirmations that you can read every single morning that are personalized to you. Something else you could do is get into photography. You can literally thrift digital cameras and they don't even have to be good cameras. You can kind of romanticize the look of bad quality, I guess, or you could get a really good camera if you can afford it. Write poetry. I recently started writing poetry sometimes and it doesn't have to rhyme, first of all. It doesn't have to be like a haiku. It doesn't have to be like an eight-lined rhyme poem. It doesn't have to sound like it belongs in a children's book. You can just write poetry. This one is kind of random and a little bit 
bit weird, but you can start a rock collection or collect rocks on days that like you had something really special happen. You could basically just like write a little entry, be like, this rock is special to me because I picked it up on this day. Don't knock this next one till you try it, but meditate. A lot of people don't meditate. A lot of people think meditating is, I don't know, a hoax, whatever. Like literally just meditate. It is so good for you. And once you actually get into it, get in the groove, allow yourself to really feel at peace. It is so rewarding. This next one's kind of expensive. I've always wanted to do this, but you can take a pottery class. You can also paint pottery, but taking a pottery class would be so cool. Me and my boyfriend actually would love to do this. We want to take a pottery class and hand make a bunch of plates and cups for our future home. Create a list of your long-term goals. This doesn't necessarily have to be career oriented, but it absolutely can. You can create goals for finances. You can create goals for fitness, goals for your love life, your family, etc. Read a self-help book. I know y'all probably have a self-help book that you started reading and you didn't keep reading. Why not read a self-help book? Why not better yourself? There's like no con. Embrace Halloween. Embrace decorating your house. Embrace watching Halloween movies, having little Halloween nights, going to pumpkin patches, going on fall walks, dressing a little extra spooky, listening to Halloween music. Really just get into it this year because honestly, I don't really get into Halloween and I think that it kind of makes me a little bit of like a Halloween Grinch. If you're trying to expand your comfort zone, but you're also trying to expand your closet and develop your own personal style, go on a walk in an outfit that is out of your comfort zone or an outfit that you'd love to wear in public, but you have a hard time with, literally just go on a short walk. Keep doing that and then you'll get used to leaving your house in that type of clothing. And then it can allow you to slowly get seen by more people. Maybe get seen by people you know without less fear of judgment because strangers have seen you in the outfit. Strangers didn't stop and take photos of you in the outfit. They didn't look at you and say, your outfit's ugly. They just acknowledged it and walked away. So why not? Literally just expand your style, wear things that you might not normally wear and realize it's not actually the end of the world. I think this is a really cool thing to start on January 1st, but you can also just do this for a season. Take a selfie every single day in the same place at the same time with the same lighting, the same facial expression and see how you grow in just a season. It's so cool to see how things can change that fast. It's only fair for the 75th suggestion to be at 75 hard. Now, I actually tried doing 75 hard. I went about 10 days and I realized I would really much rather do this in the spring so that I can really reap the rewards of, you know, being a little snatched. But try doing 75 hard if you maybe live in a warmer place or if you don't mind the rain and going walks in the rain. And if you're an artist, you could do a self portrait every single day or do a little painting every single day. Make a little collage of your art and how it improves over time. This one's really random. I did this once and I really liked it. You can learn all the words to a super long song. Literally just spend the time learning every single word to it. This is so stupid. I made a vow once to learn all the words to the song Low by Flo Rida and it was actually a lot of fun and it's just super random to just sit and listen to a song over and over again, but it is a blast. Experiment with different things to find your specific party trick. Do a bunch of different things, experiment, find out what your party trick can be and whip it out at every party you go to. I love this one, but make soup and bring it to your sick friends. Your friends are gonna be sick in the fall and the winter. It's just inevitable, it's going to happen. And even if you don't have a bunch of sick friends, just make soup and bring it to your friend who isn't feeling too well. That would be so cute and they would appreciate it probably so much. Going along with that, you can bake cookies for your neighbors or for your friends. Just bake a big batch of cookies and put them into little separate containers, make them really cute actually take the time to do it and give them to your friends make them feel loved make them have a sweet little treat I really like this idea but you can get fabric paint and paint tote bags and you can also make that like a big event with your friends that could be such a cute thing to listen to music drink some wine you all get your own personalized one which is so cute so you don't have to spend a bunch of money on ones that aren't even that cool and they're just screen printed in store this one's very expensive but if you need a revamp sell or get rid of or donate whatever all of your decor in your room and buy all new ones from the thrift store I would actually love to do this this. I think that that would be a lot of fun. This is a really good thing to do, but reorganize your closet. I did this recently and now I actually have two closets. Thank you, mom. Reorganizing your closet can be super helpful and it also helps you declutter and get rid of clothing you didn't even know that you had that you don't, don't really like anymore. This isn't really a specific thing, but it's a really good idea. Challenge yourself to learn something new or to do something new every single day of fall and winter. Create and stick to your perfect night and morning routine. It doesn't even have to be anything big. It's just in the morning 
morning, it can be wash my face, brush my teeth, eat a healthy breakfast, do a quick meditation, whatever, etc. At night, it can be read 10 pages of this book, read 10 pages of a self-help book, do a meditation, do my gua sha, etc. Just stuff like that. Little things that you know will make you, will make you feel more put together and like you actually have your shit together. This one's kind of expensive, but if you don't really want to go to the gym or you don't exactly know what you're doing, hire a personal trainer or go to a fitness class. That can be a spin class, yoga class, literally anything. There are classes for everything. That way they can tell you what you're doing wrong and help you improve. A lot of people get caught up in terms of posting and really just posting for other people and feeling the need to prove themselves to other people. So you can make an Instagram page that's fully private, no followers, no following, and just post whatever you want, caption it whatever you want. Maybe you do that as a good way to keep memories, to make posts and then caption it the story of the memories. Or you could make a video diary, which I also think is really cool. Take your phone, take your laptop, take your iPad, whatever, record a bunch of video entries. And then like a year down the line, you're gonna watch them and you're gonna be like, wow, that's where I was in life then. This is where I am in life now. This one is for the single ladies out there. Ask for someone's number every single week. Try your best to ask for someone's number every single time you see someone you're attracted to. And that seems like really difficult. I actually have asked for, I think four or five people's numbers, but asking for someone's number can honestly give you so much confidence and also get you used to rejection. And not that I'm saying that you're going to get rejected. Well, you are though. Like you're probably gonna get rejected. People are probably gonna say no. People are probably gonna say yes. Like there's gonna be one of everything and there's no harm in trying. This one's a fun one, but learn a new word every single day. I love when people have such a wide set vocabulary. Like if you just whip out crazy words that I don't know the meaning to in a sentence, I automatically think you're really cool. And right now, start planning and go absolutely ham with your Halloween costume. I wanna dress up like so accurately, I guess this year. I don't really dress up anymore for Halloween, but I wanna go to a Halloween party and I wanna like go elaborate with my costume. Make a movie watch list. This is really important to do because my, my friend Kenzie actually did this recently and it also makes it so much more convenient, especially when you're with friends being like, oh, I have no idea what to watch. Bam, you got a whole list and you don't have to spend 45 minutes scrolling on Netflix to the point where you don't even have the time to watch a movie anymore. I'm really interested in doing this right now and I would love to get a new perfume for it, but find your signature scent. That is such a awesome thing to do. I think that when people have a signature scent, it is so cool. Mine is kind of like vanilla right now. I really love the smell of vanilla. I think it is so cool. And I kind of have my eye on a certain perfume, but I've started learning a lot about perfumes because of my boyfriend. He is super into colognes and perfumes and I actually really am like it. It's very expensive. I'm not spending money on it, but I love going into stores and smelling them. This is so cute, but have a friend's giving. Have every single person make a different aspect of your Thanksgiving meal and just have a big old fat friend's giving. Somebody hosts and get a bunch of decorations, all dress up a lot. It's really sweet and wholesome and everyone tell everyone what you're thankful for. Get a sunrise lamp. The sun does not rise till like, I don't know, eight, nine in the morning in the, in the winter, maybe later. And I have this app called Globe. It is just a light bulb specifically that I have the app for. It's not necessarily the lamp itself. So I can change the tone of it. It can be super warm, super cold. You can have it be different colors, whatever, stuff like that. You can set it for different moods. And it's really cool. And I have it on a timer right now. So it turns on at I think eight in the morning. So much better to have something like gently waking you up than to just an alarm and then you're in darkness and you don't feel like getting out of bed. Start collecting stickers. I started doing this and I love it. I have my Awala here covered in some stickers. I think stickers are so fun. I have them all over the top of my laptop. It's a fun thing to collect. And then once you find something to put it on, it's so perfect. This one might seem a little bit weird, but become a workaholic. If you don't, this is going to sound crazy. If you don't have a lot of friends and you have a job, try to get a bunch of extra shifts because A, you can make friends at work, but B, it's really good to start saving your money. Don't be like, yeah, I don't need friends. I'm on my work grind. Don't do that. That's disgusting. But if you don't have any friends, you don't have much going on, literally just work as much as you can and save a bunch of money. And then by the time summer comes, you're gonna be like, dude, I'm loaded. While you're doing that, or just in general, you can save up to start investing in some timeless pieces. And I think that that's a really cool thing to do. It's a really cute way to spoil yourself, but you can really slowly start saving for things like a watch you've had your eyes on, a really expensive perfume you've always wanted, a cute purse, just things like that. This one's a really cute thing that you kind of need roommates for or you have to live with your family but try your best to convince whoever you live with to have everyone make a meal one day of the week if you yourself be like okay i want to make the meal every monday night your brother wants to make the meal every tuesday your mom is making it every wednesday your dad is making it every thursday because then you get to develop your cooking skills which are very important life skills and also that's a really fun way to do it this one is actually so rewarding but try drinking a gallon of water every day start off with maybe like two water bottles if you only drink a little bit of water 
but definitely try to aim to drink as much water as possible and setting a specific limit can be really good for you. Back in the day when people would be watching shows on TV instead of Netflix and Disney Plus because they didn't go on there right away, everyone would watch a show usually about once a week. Try doing this, but it has to be with your self-control now. Pick a show that you've either always wanted to see or usually that has longer episodes and set one, maybe two days in the week where you're allowed to watch one episode. It actually makes you like want to watch the show a lot more and it's more exciting and it's more of a production and it's very rewarding to do that. It's also really cute if you see someone once a week and you want to do it with them. This one your parents might hate me for, um, but cut your own hair. I actually cut my boyfriend's hair and I cut my own bangs quite frequently and I've cut like my whole head of layers before. I love doing that. I think it's awesome. Hair literally grows back and the sooner you start experimenting with cutting your hair, the sooner your hair is going to grow back and the sooner you'll be better at it. So why not try it now? Next up, you can volunteer. A lot of people don't volunteer, but honestly, it is a really important thing to do. It's a great way to serve your community. And lastly, master hair rollers. I mastered hair rollers, I think, like probably a year ago and I got them for the first time in like 2021 maybe and I love it. Mastering hair rollers is probably one of the best things I've done for my self-esteem because it is the best way that I can style my hair. It takes like 40 minutes maybe and even if my hair has fallen a lot the next day if I didn't use that much hairspray or if I just didn't use that much heat on my hair um it literally like falls just so beautifully even if it's mostly straight like it just is better. All right y'all that is the last thing I had for this video and I hope that you all enjoyed I hope that you got some inspiration and I hope that you try out a bunch of these activities. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing season. Bye-bye.